When you hear about connected medical devices, you may think of something highly specialized or even implanted by a doctor. But it turns out the connected devices you'll wear and use anyway will become medical probes for a variety of conditions, including one that could be counting down to a stroke inside you right now. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, I bet you've heard the term, so it has to do with the way the heart beats when the upper chambers and lower chambers are, are out of sync, more or less. A chaotic, very rapid rhythm in the top chambers of the heart, those are the atria, which normally pump blood to the ventricles. In atrial fibrillation, these are just essentially quivering. But if they're quivering, that blood just tends to sit there. And whenever blood sits in one place, it tends to clot. If that clot moves on toward the brain, you have a stroke. Number five on the list of top 10 killers in the U.S., about 800,000 of them a year, and about a quarter of those are driven by AFib. Now, you can always diagnose atrial fibrillation in a setting like this, where they have all kinds of leads and sensors and ECG wires coming off your chest, but that's difficult. What if you could figure it out just by wearing a watch? The Apple Watch has a very basic heart rate sensor that works by shining green light from an LED into your skin and measuring how much of it is reflected back by your red blood. That will vary based on volume, which tells you your pulse. But it's a pretty crude measurement. One of the challenges with these devices is that they don't detect every beat to beat, but rather they intermittently determine what the heart rate is. So we employed a machine learning algorithm using a deep neural net to teach that algorithm what was atrial fibrillation and what wasn't. But it turns out that we can not only look at the absolute rate, but also the variability of the rate. And that pinpoints atrial fibrillation. Dr. Marcus says pushing this diagnostic technique out of the hospital, out to millions of people's wrists, is important because AFib often presents no symptoms until the stroke that occurs downstream. What proportion of people out in the general public have atrial fibrillation without us knowing it? And it's exactly only by using tools like this where we might really understand that answer. Now, even if you have an Apple Watch, I'm afraid this app's not ready for prime time just yet. They just concluded a year of validation trials with 6,000 users and found a 97% accuracy rate at discriminating AFib from normal heart rhythm. What you can do is enroll for free in the Healthy Heart Study. 100,000 users and growing who are helping to pioneer the use of everyday consumer electronics in becoming medical probes thanks to smart software and AI.